Hello, hello, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Can You Be Pokemon Sword? With only electric type Pokemon. So, in the last episode, we beat B. As you can see, I'm in front of the fight type gym. And uh, someone caused a racket over here. Gee, I wonder who. B, I never would have guessed. Oh, I gotta make his voice already. Destroy it! Destroy it all! We're gonna find those wishing stars. We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Kabaraja! If you truly are the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him find wishing stars. Huh. So, I have to fight him, don't I? Am I healed? Yes, I am. Okay. And I'll swap their items. Okay, well, we're fighting Bead. Oh my, you again. So you think you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor? That's the way things. That's the way of things, is it? I see. So you also have some cunning in you, but I. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Dear Lord, I can't read very well. <laughs> okay, Duosion. So it did evolve. Okay, uh... X-Scissor. There we go. Got the Rita, okay. This should be fine. This is fine. Oh, it lived. Okay. Yeah, that's what I get for having a modest nature. Psybeam? We should eat this guy. Yeah! Like what is a tank. I even get it. It's fast. Oh, we have a speed timer. Okay. Uh, and hatch. Honestly, yeah. Every oh, anticipation? That doesn't do anything. Okay, extras are. Ah, it almost killed. That's a little annoying. My partner's move is simply splendid, wouldn't you say? Psybeam. Oh, dang it, you confused me. Okay, I gotta switch. Also, yeah, he, that actually packs a punch. Uh, who's best suited here? I don't know, Leo. Psybeam, we should take this no problem. Yeah. Still does a little bit, but we should be fine. Super effective. The power of strong jaw. <laughs> okay. So the problem here is my next level cap is level 37. So I think I might already have some over levels. But why? How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who, def who was to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite, someone who can show the future of the Gala region. No. Oh. Alexa, challenger bead. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow the, the to borrow Chairman Rose's Kaparaja. I can't believe you tried to use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you simply stand in the path of a Pokemon simple beam or something? Oh wow. Is that Is that a roast in the Pokemon world? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger Bead, I will be taking those wishing stars you have gathered. Dang, son. Imagine. You know, during one of Bead's matches, I heard the announcer say that Bead has new family. Apparently it was Rose who took Bead under his wing, and so Bead was battling for the chairman's sake. We kind of knew this. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mule survived all that. Rumble, rumble. Oops. 
Oh gosh, that 3D model did not look great. Whoa, it's two doggos. And now we see a cutscene of Sonya piecing it all together. Well, looks like she's got the right answer. What does this tell us about Gala's legends? Pokemon? Sword and shield? <laughs> it's like Pokemon? Sword and shield? Like how did this get past the meeting room? That's, this is what we were all wondering when they first got revealed, like sword and shield? Uh, Pokemon. <clears throat> right, more than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? Uh, the same as the tapestries? Oh, good observation. There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why are neither one statue and Badoo drop in? It's a statue in our hotel! <laughs> it doesn't have any significance. What are you doing, Sonya? More than any statue of a hero or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means... The sword is a Pokemon. The shield is a Pokemon. Well, we're in Pokemon Sword, so I guess the sword is a Pokemon. I feel like we made a really big discovery here. Thanks, I'll give you a couple of these, so keep giving uh, Is this your... Yup. Revives our compensation in this world. Can't exactly use them. Anyway, we gotta go to the fairy gym now. So this will be interesting. I actually love this section of the game. It's so pretty. Look at it. An imp and imp. Uh oh, don't attack me, please. Dang it. Okay. So I'm gonna get my way through this route and then I will see you in whatever the town's name is. I actually forgot. And we are here in Bao Bao and Leah. I can never pronounce this town's name. But look at it. This is definitely one of my favorite looking towns in the whole series. It's gorgeous. Look at it. Look at them. Why is there a chin chow up there? Uh, look at this place. It's pretty. Okay. Uh, I'm going to heal up. There shouldn't be any plot in this town, so I'm probably going to look around, talk to a few NPCs. And then I guess we're challenging the gym. I think today's going to be a pretty short episode. Oh, This is cute. <clears throat> I went back to Hammerlock and get some to get something and... Look at them. Of course. Miss Polly, here you go. This is the letter I want you to deliver. Old letter. It's a key item. Or letter entrusted to you by a girl to be delivered to a boy. Strangely, it looks old to you. Deliver it to Frank for me. Frank and Belly Bellinalia. I can't pronounce that. Still. Okay. And Frank. Should be in here. Wrong house. He should be in here then. Hi, Frank. You're looking for Frank? That'd be me. Yes. What's this? You got a letter addressed to me? He yeah, handed the old letter, the old letter to the old man. Now, who could be sending me letters? Oh, why? This says it's from Paula. That does take me back ages. Paula was the name of the girl I spent all my time playing with when I was a young lad. She fell ill. Didn't tell me though, she kept it a secret just how sick she was. We ended up having a great row about it, then I moved away not long after that fight. Never met her again after the day I left. How was she? Did she look well? Dear old Paula. She looked well, alright. That's a comfort to hear. I reckon I have to give you a gift for something the gift you brought. For, for you've brought me back because of my youth. Choice scarf. There we go. But that's it. Is it? Oh. And now, if I go back. Yep, she's gone. Yeah, I just want to show that little Easter egg or whatever. Um, there are, I, there are a lot of ghost girls, so to speak, in the Pokemon series, and that's one of them. Just want to show that off real quick. Also, the choice scarf. 
may come in handy later on. So anyways, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'll see you there. All right, real quick, because I forgot about this, I can actually, yes, I can get a Gigantamax Toxtricity. Yes. Toxtricity is now capable of Gigantamaxing. Um, I don't have any candies, I don't think. So, yeah, we're, we're going in. <clears throat> oh, hey, Marnie. <laughs> I'm gonna... No, I gotta make her voice. You got four gym badges already? I'm gonna have to watch out for you, huh? Wait, so did she just beat this gym? Look, even more Pekko's wary of you. Wait, more Pekko? Don't tell me you actually like Xeno Chu. Ah, we've already had a serious battle with him. He's an opposing gym challenger. Guess there's nothing to it. Look, just take one of my league cards, okay? <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> What's with that look, huh? This just means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, okay? There aren't too many gym challenges left, you know. So we're meeting in the finals. You got that? So she just beat the gym with her dark type only team. Interesting. <clears throat> and we get the love ball right after seeing Marnie. That's fitting. That your form looks good on you? Now relax, clear your mind, and go. Break a leg. Not literally, of course. <laughs> Look, I love this gym because A, it speaks to me. Because, well, I'm a theater kid. Second, the concept is actually really cool. I just wish they could have done a bit more with it because it's just three battles. And then, well, yeah. Ugh, I have to make her voice. Ah, oh, there you are, my dear gym challenger. Now you're really lacking in the color pink. See, I'm looking for a successor to take on the role of gym leader here, so my mission serves as an audition of sorts too. Now don't worry, it's simple enough. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering though, child. If you get the wrong answer, the stats of your Pokemon will get lowered. Oh, but of course, if you answer correctly, your Pokemon will get a start to boost. Just think of it as a little fairy type magic to help make things interesting. Now I want you to go all out. Show me what you can do. And now we have to watch a 30 second cutscene of her walking away. All right, gym challenge, oh, gym trainer, Annette. Spritzy. And now we just kind of win, right? Vino shot. Oh, it was almost a one shot. That's just annoying. Echoed voice. That should be fine. Yeah, that does nothing. And I heal it all back. Oh, question. You know about. Yes, I do. I'm using one of them right now. That's right. One of the fairy types we use is the fourth type. Teresa. Swirlix. Okay, we're chilling. We out here. Do I one shot a Swirlix? Boy, I sure hope I do. Aromatisse. No. Question. What was the previous trainer's name? Uh, it's Annette, right? Because no one who loves their child names their daughter Annette. And to that one person named Annette out there in the world, I am sorry. There we go. See, even the game agrees. <laughs> and watch the same gym trainer model come back out. Question. Oh. What do I eat for breakfast every morning? Okay, find me an old lady that eats curry for breakfast. Omelets. Correct. I prefer cheese omelets. Look, easy as that, people. That is what you make your grandmother on her birthday, I guess? Yeah. That's at least what I do. And there we go. 
Scorchies for the gym mission. Leon, fail. Number of correct answers, one. Your talent in Pokemon battles is beyond anything I've ever seen, but you're rather hard to read. Sonia, fail. Number of correct answers, three. You have talent, that's for sure, but you give up a little too quickly. Then again, I imagine that you need the grand battle. E. Also, why does she just have these? Did they do their gym challenge recently? How long has Leon been champion? Okay, quick team recap, and I'm gonna make sure everyone's healed up. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. Just a little bit of damage. So, Amp with the Black Sludge, Shockwave with, uh, oh, Shock Brave, sorry, with uh, Expert Bell, Lisa with the uh, Bright Powder, Surge with the uh, Lax Incense, Leo with the Muscle Band, and Lorraine with the uh, Sea Incense. Pretty much a similar build, but hey, we're rolling with it. She's already there. She can't walk the extra 15 feet required. Her legs are broken. <laughs> I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself, but I'm Opal, the gym leader. I've gotten a good look at you on how to handle those quizzes. The last part of the mission is me. Let me have a look at how you and your partner Pokemon behave. Alright then. We fought Grandma, but now we have to fight Granny. Alright. You are challenged by Jim Leader Opal. Her face. She's just like, ah, here we go again. Ooh, wait. Poison's neutral on this, isn't it? Ooh. Poison's neutral on this, isn't it? Acid spray? It's neutral. Oh, okay. That is. That is not how I wanted this to turn this do. Oh, we're a tank. We eat this. Okay, so the question should continue through. Yep. Do you know my nickname? Uh, Bippity Boppity Boo. Ding, ding, ding. Congratulations, you're correct. I got that wrong on my first playthrough, and that was, uh, embarrassing. I mean, whose nickname is the magic user? Critical hit. Okay. Now what? Oh. Oh. Okay. So this is kind of an issue because I don't have a counter to this, do I? I have discharge, but that doesn't help much. I'll, I'll discharge and see how much that does. Oh, that does a lot. Okay, we're saying this. And the paralysis. Get paralyzed. Dang it. That was fun. Yeah, that does nothing. Amp your tank. The monster. Question. What is my favorite color? Okay. So she likes to see pink in other people, right? And that's kind of like the gym state. But look at her shoes, her umbrella, and her scarf. They're purple. So I'm going with this. Yeah. You see, your boy still got it. Okay, and that's the end of the mouth one. Da -da -da -da. And I'm healing every turn she's not hitting me. This is great, man. Togekiss. That should be fine, right? Do I max here or do I save for one more thing? How much does this do? Okay, yeah, I'm maxing next turn. Ancient power. This shouldn't do much unless I get the Omni Boost. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. No Omni Boost either, so this is good. Uh, I'm maxing. Max Ooze. Here it comes. We went to the Isle of Armor to get this. Big toxicity. Feel the power of rock and roll. And we go first. That's good. Ok, 
Okay. Special attack throws. Box lunch. My morning tea is finally kicking in, and not a moment too soon. Oh, creamy. This thing was my ultimate disappointment in my first playthrough. I caught a milkery from a den, and I'm like, oh, it can totally Gigantamax, right? No, it can't. So I will get my vengeance. Are you prepared? I'm going to have some fun with this. Her face. She just seems like so done with the whole gym thing. It's a cake. Do you realize how many countries a Gigantamax of a baby could feed? Like, do you see the size of this thing? Max ooze and faster. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, are we out here? Okay. You lack pink hair. Let us give you some. That line, though. Alrighty then. How oh, old am I? Alright, woman. Okay. So the majority of people who are probably watching this might be girls. Because you're my friends and you know me personally. So... Y'all like to be flattered, right? I'm pressing 16. Ha, I like your answer. Yeah, she's kind of a creeper. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, look at me. Look how stacked I am. Look at this absolute unit. You never stood a chance. Opal, you have been melted down to size. Be gone! And just like that, we've beaten the fairy type gym leader. That was disappointingly easy. You defeated gym leader Opal. She just yeeted her umbrella. What? Her pink is still lacking. You're an excellent trainer with some excellent Pokemon. So I'm still lacking pink, eh? I kinda sucks. Well, good try. Not bad, not bad at all. Still not what I'm looking for. No, don't worry yourself about it, child. It's just a matter of my preference. I'll find the next gym leader somewhere else. In fact, I've already got an idea on where to look. Too bad about the audition, but here's a fairy badge for your efforts. She's so slow. How long are her nails? I'm looking at all the wrong stuff, dude. But that's just me. I'm gonna go to Motostoke and then I'll end the episode. Or Hammerwalk, rather. Hold on now. I've got to run a few errands down in Hammerlock. Care to join me for the journey? You're headed to the next gym stadium. You'll need to get to Hammerlock too, after all. With pleasure. They say two's company, after all. We're here. Hammerlock, always such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. I love it how every time she's done talking, we have to watch a cutscene of her walking away just for it to fade to black. Okay. Now, though, something should be opened up. Ah, dang it, bead. What you got to say for yourself, man? Can you really afford to waste time like this? I mean, if it's to make fun of you, of course. Well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about me catching up. <laughs> oh, gosh. After all. <laughs> I'll have you know, though, that I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Opal. Hmm. Act boy. 
he does the hair flip. Now that's what I would call pink. So sincere and straightforward, and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. <laughs> Time for my gym mission, child. Her eyes... Fear! Huh, what? Oh god! <laughs> yeah, remember when I said Opal was kind of a creeper? Yeah! She really is! Look how uncomfortable Beat is. <laughs> She's just peering over his shoulder. <laughs> Congratulations, child. You are used by Oleana, am I right? You worked hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish when she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put into it. Are you... are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talent and let... and tell me everything you want... you know about the wishing stars. Oh. So someone sent off a nuke. Hamlock Stadium shook. That's where the Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Huh. I wonder what that could mean. That's a thing. I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. So you should take leave the investigation to on the quaking to the adults. Wow. Adults taking responsibility in a Pokemon game? Never saw this coming. Oh no. You saw him slowly walk out of there. He's back. Leave me alone! Come with me to Route 7. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. Yeah, we're leaving that for the next episode. I'm just trying to get to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, ha ha! The terrains are useless to me. I just want the fangs. Thunder Fang and Fire Fang. These are going to be helpful. No, not you. Use this item. Uh, I'll get rid of Spark. Uh, what do I get rid of? Do I get rid of Nuzzle? Or do I get rid of Tail Whip? I want to get rid of Tail Whip. Alright. And now, Leo has a moveset that can better take advantage of his abilities. Anyways, that's going to be the end of today's episode. So... Thank you guys for watching this episode of Pokemon Electric Only. Uh, tomorrow, well, next time, we're going to take on, uh, what's his name, Gordy, the Rock-type gym, which is probably going to be the hardest gym fight of this playthrough. So, stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching, and please consider subscribing. See ya!